This is the BRNO Model 2. As you can see, it's a 2-2 long rifle chambered bolt action rifle. The company is now owned by CZ, however, and you can see similarities between this gun and the CZ 452 22 rifle. Now this gun specifically that you're seeing in these clips here is owned by my shooting club which I've recently become a part of and I've been shooting this gun solidly for about a month now and I just want to give my overall sort of views on it and how I feel about it. So let's talk a couple of tech specs now. So of course this is a bolt action rifle and this rifle comes with a 5 round magazine however you can find 10 round magazines for these if you have a look around. This specific one has a roughly about a 24 inch carbon steel barrel however some models range from 16 to 28 inch barrels but this is the sort of standard one. And of course the standard gun therefore weighs in about 6 pounds so it's not a super heavy rifle it's quite nice weight to hold and you know if you're using a bench rest or anything else like that it's pretty comfortable. Now the barrel does have a thread for the sound moderator to go on the end to keep the noise down and it does have an adjustable trigger so you can change that as you will. The wood as you see on here on the foregrip and stock is beech however some models do come with walnut if you can find them. And this gun used, you'd be looking at paying £150 for. However, the newer CZ455 and 457s start at around £350-£400 new. However, they are the synthetic versions and don't come with the wood on the foregrip and stock if that is something you are looking for. Now a couple things to note here, the scope you see on the gun is a cheap budget scope that the, cl the club uses as a way to get new members involved and obviously learn about the rifles. This gun is therefore owned by the club and not myself and so it must bear in mind here that the accuracy of this gun might be a little bit compromised as it hasn't been cleaned in a while and probably not cleaned properly or as somebody would clean it probably at home looking after their rifles. However, this has not stopped the gun in my opinion achieving pretty good results. Um, so I've shot this gun at 25, 50 and 100 meters relatively and they've been pretty accurate shots as you can see on screen. I'll put some groupings on there right now. You can see that I've shot this both from both elbow rest and bench rest positions. Um, not standing just yet or not prone either. And these are the groupings I've achieved in my circumstances, which I am very happy with. And on these days of shooting as well, it's about zero degrees Celsius, it's pretty cold. And I tell you, I wasn't wearing cold weather gear. So I was a little bit shaky on my hands but I'm pretty happy with how it's worked and especially the age of this gun as well and how it's holding up and especially because it was never an expensive gun to start off with. It's really doing a good job. Now the club has owned this gun for quite a few years now and I believe it's one of their main guns they use to train new members on basic bolt action and 2-2 rifles as you must do a probationary period here in the UK by the Home Office requiring three months worth of like weapons training to understand how the weapon functions, making it safe and so forth. So this is what they chose. And honestly, I think they made a very good choice. It's a very nice gun. And if you're looking nowadays for a very budget orientated pest control gun or a very simple sort of rifle shooting, uh, you know, 2 2 rifle target gun, nothing serious, however, then this could be a gun for you, especially coming in around £150 used, and there's quite a lot of these on the market, or any other CZs as well around the time of manufacture of this, are seen relatively reliable. Um, you can find lots of information about the reliability online, however, going from how long this has been at the club and how long it's still shooting, I totally believe the reviews on that. And there we are. That forms my first video in my new overview series, which is where I'm going to be basically giving a brief overview, kind of a review, but it's just more of a short one, uh, about a specific shotgun or rifle or something that I don't particularly own at the moment, so I don't have enough knowledge or experience on to do a full review, but enough to have an understanding of, is it good? Is it all right? Is it bad? You know, and should you stay away from it or should you go for it? Now, one thing I haven't mentioned is malfunctions, and I've only fired about 200 rounds through this specific gun itself so far over the course of now about two months, roughly. I've had no dud rounds from my 2.2 LR I've been using. I've been using, uh, I think it's uh, SK Standard Plus. Um, they're pretty good, pretty well priced as well. I believe they're about £4, £4.50, a box of 50. Um, really reasonable rounds that I've had no issues with putting through at all. And the ejector or any of the other parts on the gun that are likely to fail 
Uh, have not either. There have been no jams, nothing stuck in the barrel, um, no misfires. So overall, the reliability so far of experience is pretty good and it's certainly something, or at least a CZ firearm, what I'm looking to put in my cabinet over the coming months. Now thank you for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, feel free to leave a like, subscribe and feel free to join me on my new upcoming content this year. I've got a lot planned, a lot is changing. I might soon have access to new firearms, new rifles, new reviews and new shooting. Anyway, stick around. See you there.